Okay, this is a quick breakdown of the Logitech review with Google TV. The screen that you see in front of you is the bookmark screen. Uh, I'm going to try to get a better view here. Uh, as you can see, Logitech Help Assistant, uh, Logitech Vid, etc., etc. Applications, top of the chart. There's your bug report, and they're going to want to know what's going on. DNLA Media Player, Facebook Gallery, Game Time, Logitech Connect Server, Pair Mobile Devices, Pandora, lots of nice little toys over here. We're going to go back over to Applications, down to Spotlight. These are the things that they think are important. Most visited, this is your uh, recent list, your queue for podcasts, what's on TV. And this is what's going to set Google TV apart from everybody else. If you take a look to the right there, you're going to see channel list, movies, news, sports. If the television system that you're looking at, whether it's satellite or Fios or cable, has a subcategory, it's over here. All the way down, horror, reality, everything you can possibly imagine. Uh, let's go back up to movies. It seemed to be pretty popular already. Um, News, movies, there we go. If it's on television right now and it's a movie, it's listed here. The channel that it's on, the amount of time that it has left, and off to the side here, a breakdown of the one that's highlighted. There's your Google TV. Now, in addition to having this available for you, you have the ability to start, stop, rewind, record under the Google Cloud, not the DVR that you're running it off of. This is where Google TV is going to excel. The unit itself is very small, short, sweet, and to the point. It's this tiny little box here that has got one, two, and three IR blasters that are going to send a signal out to everything in the house and on the back very small very short nothing much to it one in one out um, it's running off of the Logitech Harmony remote system which means I'm running this television there on it the amplifier the uh, cable box everything that you can imagine the screaming that you hear is what's going on in the television in the background this, of course, is your primary controller. Pretty fascinating little toy here. You've got a trackpad, up-down controls. There's a home button. Um, pretty much everything you could need here. This is kind of hard to read, but it says AVR, STB, and television. So you've got satellite, your amplifier, your television, powers, and inputs off the function control. If you want to go straight to TV, you can hit this. Here's your guide. There's your DVR, your volume controls, which for me are running off of the amplifier. Um, and this is completely battery operated. Nothing much to it. Uh, I have also uploaded the DVR and uh, Harmony controls onto my Android Incredible through this system. So if I don't want to use the keyboard, I can just use my phone and control everything in the house. Uh, so that's it. Short, sweet, and to the point. Hope you enjoyed it.